quick little video here on how to install a plugin using HS3. Uh, if you're using HS2, you're probably used to going to the setup area and going to the interfaces part of the program. Uh, that's been redone here, and uh, what we've done is we've created this plugins menu up top. And if you open up the menu and select manage, that'll take you to what used to be the interfaces page in HS2. In order to install a plugin, you want to expand this additional interfaces area down here, which is I'm going to do this. And I'm going to scroll down to um, infrared controls. I think those are audio. There we go, right there. And I want to install the global cache plugin. So uh, that's this guy right here um, Home Seer Global Cache IR controller. So tick the little box next to it. Um, that will put the plugin in this pending updates and installs area. Uh, up top here, click the download and install button and then up top above that um, it will show the status and uh, it looks like it was already successfully installed and so your plugin should now be in the list. There it is. Um, last couple of steps you want to uh, enable it and hopefully you have a piece of hardware uh, that you can match to it but once it's enabled um, like so You'll see it now on the plugins menu, and on the plugins menu, uh, you'll see there are also configuration screens that you can go to. So to set up my uh, global cache uh, configuration, I roll over to that, select that, and that brings up a new page where I can put all that in. Uh, most of the plugins work essentially in the same way. So you've got to go to plugins menu, go to the manage area, find the plugin you want to install, install it, enable it, and then do the configuration. Okay, that's it.